Welcome to Book Snoop's YouTube channel. Today I'll be reviewing Lost in Austin by Emma Campbell Webster, a choose-your-own-path adventure based on the works of Jane Austen. As some of you may know, this type of novel is interactive and non-linear, and the story itself changes based on decisions made by the reader. The reader's mission in this book is the same as many of Austen's heroines, to marry both advantageously and for love. The writing is of a mediocre and straightforward quality. The author attempts to mix Austen's formal tone with moments of contemporary commentary, complete with contractions. Some readers might be bothered by this inconsistency. A very subjective quality of choose-your-own-path narratives is that most, including this novel, are written in second person. This type of narrative is not for everyone and may be distracting to some, even if it is perfectly suitable for this type of text. On top of this, the reader is sometimes directly called out, shamed, and even blamed in this book, which can seem jarring or irritating. This novel has another rare element in the form of a point system, where readers track their success based on numbers, which can also affect their future options. While the idea of scorekeeping may be off-putting at first, especially to those who like a leisurely book, the author provides the option of not doing so. The points given and taken are part of the writing, and not always a direct consequence of a specific choice. Rather than being quite separated, they also interrupt the flow of the narrative constantly. This can become a hindrance and even annoyance for some readers. Many choices in this adventure might seem trivial, with quite literally no consequence to the story. Many who read this type of book want to experience that each action is important and has consequences. Such is not the case here. Some of the branching paths lead back to the same path, regardless of what you choose, only affecting the point system. Other paths may seem redundant, but have serious repercussions, such as turning left or right, but leading to your immediate death in the first chapter of the book. This novel also has quiz question as an interactive element, which in no way affects the story and only impacts the point system. Some readers may enjoy these extra levels of interaction, testing knowledge from the time period. Others who are more story-oriented will find these elements better suited to a video game rather than a novel. It is necessary to consider the novel's chief inspiration, Pride and Prejudice, while examining most of the elements on the book review rubric. Everything from plot, story elements, characters, setting, and even dialogue are all borrowed from this original text. This has its benefits, as this book is certainly geared towards fans who are familiar with Austen's work. Some readers, however, might find that there is no amusement in reading the same dialogue almost entirely word for word. I was able to tell as much, having read this book immediately after finishing Pride and Prejudice. Readers who want to finish the story and achieve the quote-unquote best endings need only follow exactly what Austen's heroines did in her novels. Any unique choices or deviations lead to arguably less satisfying alternative paths. For this reason, some readers might feel disappointed, having hoped for originality of plot elements and unpredictable consequences, even if characters and situations are borrowed from Jane Austen's stories. It is very possible for readers to enjoy this book and find it entertaining. However, the complete lack of originality will most likely cause its score on the rubric to suffer. Attempting to judge the novel as objectively as possible, I have given Lost in Austin the following scores. For quality of writing, level 2. For readability, level 3. For pacing, level 4. For story uniqueness, level 1. For theme slash message, level 1. For characters, level 3. For engagement, level 2. For quality of dialogue, level 2. For setting, level 2. For plot, level 3. This gives the book a total score of 46 out of 100. You can compare this to the rating of 72 on Goodreads. Please keep in mind that, for the purpose of writing the review, I did in fact read and record each of the branching paths in the novel. Now for the genre breakdown. 5 stars in drama and humor, 2 stars in romance, and two stars in adventure. Other genre tags you can consider are choose your own path and interactive, as well as author-inspired. 
My personal opinion of the book is that it is highly disappointing and of very poor quality. As both a true Austin fan and an English language arts major, I was outraged by the lack of originality and the appalling writing quality, and I would personally give it an even lower score than it managed to earn on the rubric. I have, however, found reviews by people who consider this to be an enjoyable read. For those readers able to sit back and dive into the many interactive elements to this book, the story will be silly and engaging. For those fans who think a genuine Jane Austen choose-your-own-path adventure sounds too good to be true, you will find yourselves correct. It is possible to read Lost in Austen for fun, but not for pleasure, as it is more of a game than a work of literature.